2-0 on Trout. This one is crushed. Left center field way out of here. A three-run shot for Trout, his first of the spring, and the Angels have a 3-1 lead. That looked like his top golf swing. Yes, it does. Dismissing first inning. Lacking a little extension. Perhaps knowledge of who was on the mound and on the ball carry. This one, he's seen Lopez. He's got enough video information and also has seen the swings of the first couple of guys. That ball was absolutely crushed in any ballpark, any conditions. That would have been out. Cody Ballinger, the batter, with two men out of the bases, empty. And Ballinger hits this one well to right center and deep. Back it goes. This ball's gone. A home run, Bellinger. His first of the spring. And the National League MVP gets the Dodgers on the board. It's 2-1. to one. If he went down, he got this ball. Bryce Harper getting set for his second season with the Phillies after signing that mega free agent contract. And he drives one deep to right field. And that's a no-doubter. That might reach the doggone highway. Oh, man. Bryce Harper. An absolute bomb to right. Didn't take long to get out. It's three to nothing. This pitch is hit in the air deep to left. Opposite field bomb for Harper way back. To the top of that grassy knoll area. Beyond the left center field fence. Second home run of the game for Bryce Harper. Right-hander ready the pitch. Harper swings, hits it high in the air, deep left field. Offered back to the track, at the wall, and gone. Bryce Harper with his third home run of the spring, his third in two games. It's a two-run shot to left field. And the Phillies now with a 5-2 to two lead. All right. Two out, two on. Four in. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive to left, and that is trouble as that ball is long gone. Home run, Nolan Arenado. His third of the spring, and Colorado now has a eight to nothing lead. Alexander fires and Nolan drives it to left, going back. Gore, it is gone. Just would not come down till it clears the barrier. Touch of all time for Nolan Arenado, his fourth homer of the spring, and the Rockies are on the board. Got around and delivered a laser to left field. Man, he hit that hard. And Nolan with that club high four home runs and you're going to see a guy now, Jack, that is starting to get back into action. Allen is at second. Arroyo's at first. Nobody out. And Lindor drives one deep to left and that's going to go. Francisco Lindor. That's already his ninth hit this spring, his second home run. A three-run shot, and the Indians have the lead. It's 4-0 Cleveland. What a player this guy is. He really is. Just uh, nothing on the field he cannot do at a high level. Really extended his swing that time, got out around that ball and hooked it back to left field. And no pitcher likes to give up home runs no matter what time of year it is. But I bet you Madison Bumgarner would talk about the leadoff walk to Greg Allen. And they had all those things so that he could continue to use that in the offseason. 2-2, two -two, a swing and a blast out to deep left field. Nelson Cruz got all of this one, and it is way gone. Never a doubt on that shot by Nelson Cruz, a pitch that was center cut. And Cruz, who last year led the Twins with 41 home runs, has another one on the spring, and the Twins with a 1 0 lead. That's the other thing. Protect totally. Me. Of course. And Goldschmidt sends one out to deep left field. It's at the wall, and it is gone. <laughs> Took a while, but got out of here. The home run for Paul Goldschmidt, and that is his second this spring. Some are fly ball home runs. And this was a fly ball big fly to deep left center field. He knew it. You could tell when he left the box. And I got the sense Verlander knew it too. And that's going to be the last.
pitch that he throws here this afternoon. Real Muto to start things off for the Phillies, and he drives one deep. Oh, this one is a no-doubter all the way to the front end of the scoreboard, which is set back beyond a little hill. Top of the order here in the third against Velasquez. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on, hit in the air, deep right field, into that win and gone! Bo prances around the bases after his second home run of the spring gives the Blue Jays a 3-0 lead. Here's Matt Chapman, seventh game of the spring. He swings and drives it the other way. It's sending Thomas back. He's at the track, sizing up the wall. He leaps, can't get it, it's gone. Over the line and into the bullpen. Matt Chapman goes the other way. A solo shot, his second of the spring, and it's 1-0 A's in the first. Fastball over the outer half at 96. Left the bat at 102. Great swing for Chapman, and the A's lead 1-0. And here comes Olsen. Runner goes from first. The pitch to Olsen. He swings and drives it the other way. Dietrich back. He will watch. It is gone. The Mavs go on opposite field. A two-run shot for Olsen the other way to left. 2-0 Oakland in the first. His first home run of the spring. Sure, he got some help from the wind, but he certainly didn't need it on that swing. Josh Bell with the man on. That's why. Deep and gone. Yeah, that's why, exactly why you don't bring him in. Josh Bell hits a rocket out of here to center. Now the Pirates with home runs by Tucker, and now Bell lead 4-1. to one. That was slam. Yes, it was. For the fourth inning, Yankees seven, Red Sox nothing, and a new pitcher for the Yankees is Clark Schmidt. Is that is driven in the air to right center and deep? Gardner looking up, and that is gone. Rafael Devers takes the first pitch from Clark Schmidt up and out, and the Red Sox are on the board. It's seven-one Yanks. Well, 32 times Rafael Devers did this last year. And he's always been very aggressive. He's ready to swing from the first pitch on, as Clark Schmidt just found out. And here comes the pitch to Abreu. Line drive deep into left field. Schwarber won't even make a move. That one is gone. Two-run shot for Abreu. That ball got out in a hurry. And it's now 4-0 White Sox in the fourth. 2-0. Here's a swing and a high fly ball left field. And deep. Alfred looking back, and that ball is... Gone. Wow, a tower, and I mean towering home run <laughs> from Reese Hoskins. 